Hi love bugs, it's KP and thank you so much as always for stopping back by the channel and taking a look at this video. I'm going to do just a quick look at how I planned um, this current week, January 11th through the 17th in my Man Be Happy Planner. Um, I don't know, with the holidays and everything, I wasn't really decorating my planner as much. I was really just using it to write stuff down because I had so much going on between changes at work and then I do a Christmas Eve party and I have a Christmas Day dinner and oh my gosh I was traveling for Thanksgiving it was so much so I really haven't sat down and actually done like a creative or like pretty spread in a long time um I did decorate Thanksgiving week and Christmas week and that was about it so haven't been on here in a while and as a side note, like, have you all seen the, all the new, um, me and my big ideas releases that are coming out in February? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Um, if you're not a member already and you're on Facebook, please join the, um, Man Be Happy Planner, um, addict group on Facebook. I am an admin of that group. It is an awesome group. We are almost at 10,000 members. It is great, um, but I'm going to, and we also have like a lot of the sneak peeks and some of the Periscope videos and things like that, so we definitely try to keep everybody updated on what's going on with Mandy. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump into this. Um, as I prepared to plan, of course, I had my little cute coffee mug ready to go. Um, I was actually watching some YouTube videos on my other phone. <laughs> While I was getting this going, this little cute mug, as a side note, just came from Dollar General. It was a dollar. It had some of those little nasty hard candies in it that I took out and threw away. But the mug was just super adorable. And there you go. I was watching a few, uh, I think I was watching Dollar Tree hauls. <laughs> All right, so here's my um, current planner. This is actually the black and white kit from uh, that came out from Mambi, but I have like mixed it up. It's some of those pages. It's some pages from one of the other planners. It's just a lot going on in this. Um, I did a setup video a few videos back, so if you want to check that out, please do. Um, but this is my current cover. I made this myself with just a file folder, some stickers, and you know, that good cheap old laminator from Walmart. All right, guys, so here we go the 11th through the 17th. And I hadn't picked out anything when I first got started. So I was like, let me check out the washi and see what I wanted to do. I have a lot of new washi. Um, some of the Me and My Big Idea sets. I got some of the new ones from um, Michael's and just all kinds of stuff. So definitely, definitely been picking up some new washi. Um, this little holder that I, I use now is actually from Joann's. And I want to say it runs about $17. So definitely not bad. And I have over 100 and what, 120 rows of washi, I think, and they all are in here, and I have room for more. All right, and then I went into my um, free printouts, or just, you know, my printouts that I've gotten. Um, I kind of organized all of those into individual little folders, put them in a little box, so I wanted to see what I could pick out of there, so I picked out some checklists, and I wanted to do something kind of girly, just to, you know, pink and pretty, kind of, just to get back in the mood. So here are some things that I picked out. I want to say this is probably from my planner Envy, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, either way it goes, if you haven't already checked out my planner Envy, she has great, great free printables on her blog and lots of good helpful information. Um, the checklist I think I have bought at some point off of Etsy. Then I picked out some washi tapes and, yeah, just kind of to see how I wanted to put it all together. So the first thing I did, of course, was laid out some of the washi. Now, this was the first time I decorated um, the spread with the morning, afternoon, and the evening, like on the, you know, written on Monday. So a little thinking there because I definitely didn't want that to show, but I didn't want to cover all the boxes either. Um, then I wanted to do something a little different with my sidebar this week. I'm trying to use up these gorgeous pads from the Target Dollar Spot. This current bullseye uh, playground stuff has been so awesome. I have bought so much. But I'm like, I need to use this stuff. So I cut that down and I added it to my sidebar. And I think it came out really, really cute. So I may do that a couple, you know, just a little bit going forward. Um, then I added the, um, you know, full box and half box little decorations that I wanted to. My little printouts, my ombre checklist. 
Then on the other side, just a little bit more. Um, I did a little more than usual as far as the full boxes just because I'm going out of town next week. So I didn't need a bunch of space to write for the weekend because usually the weekends are full of things to do as well. Um, then I'm just in love with the quote stickers from uh, me and my big ideas and, and really any quote stickers. But these I love. I have two packs of this particular one, actually. So I wanted to put some, um, you know, quotes, motivation, things like that. So I added this one, Joy Comes in the Morning. We all know that psalm. Um, and then just this one that says, and we're off because, again, I am going out of town. So here is a look at it all nice and finished as far as the layout was concerned. I think it came out really good, um, especially considering I didn't know what the heck I was going to do when I started. <laughs> um, then I wanted to add just a few more little stickers um, in here. So I just added some fun and some girl time and things like that. Um, again, just to symbolize my weekend. I did go ahead and grab my Etsy sticker collections. I started out in the small um, photo albums, as you can see. I now have the the bigger one that I've added, uh, the sheet protectors and all that in to um, add the additional Etsy stickers so I don't have to cut them. I really was sad, like, starting to cut my sheets because they're so cute. So, anywho, I added a couple things. Not a whole lot because, again, it's not going to be a super busy week. Um, for me necessarily, um, because I'm, I'm pretty much ready to go. So, uh, just a few things, my little budget calculator up there. Cause I have to do my budget for the week. Then I'm, I need to change my nails on Wednesday before I leave. And I had in my little coffee because I'm trying to cut back on my Starbucks runs. So I'm trying to go only like once or twice a week right now. All right. Then I added a few more things. I got to pay some credit card bills and, um, get my prescription in order and just some things like that. Paydays on Friday. So, you know, then I always like to add a few embellishments and, you know, just a few little extras. So I picked out one of the journaling cards from the Me and My Big Ideas set, um, that pretty little magnetic clip from Simple Stories. And then, I don't know why, but I felt like I wanted to use one of my Disney Princess clips also this week. So and there is the Grand Mulan. All right, and here it is all back inside of its lovely home. Um, although right after I took this picture almost, I um, decided to go back to my larger gold rings um, because I wanted to have the full six months in. And in this particular time, I only had three months. So I did go ahead and switch out to the larger rings. All right, here's my additions. Ta-da. Put your heart into it. You gotta love it. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy planning. And, again, if you haven't already, definitely join the Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Have a great day, guys.